Miami Herald runs misleading headlines suggesting 901 Florida COVID deaths occurred in single-day Florida Governor responds to the Associated Press over bizarre hit piece on Hannity The Miami Herald ran a story that is being knocked by Republican Florida Governor Ron DeSantis press secretary as sensationalistic and dishonest. On Thursday, the paper raised eyebrows with its jarring headline, Florida COVID Update, 901 Added Deaths, Largest Single-Day Increase in Pandemic History. The headline was widely shared among DeSantis critics, including an army of MSNBC stars and staffers. My God primetime host Chris Hayes reacted. Pardon me, but holy ass MSNBC producer Adam Weinstein similarly tweeted. Liberal MSNBC contributor for an on demand hype the breaking news, tweeting we have had more deaths in Florida from COVID-19 in the first 26 days in August than the U.S. has had among uniformed military service members in Afghanistan since October 2001. Among others who circulated the Herald report include CNN contributor Frida Gaitis, Florida politics publisher Peter Schorsch, and Rick Wilson of the disgraced Lincoln Project. I am sure a stern letter from at Gov. Ron DeSantis to the ad AP will make this all better Schorsch swiped the governor. It's going great for Governor Freedom Wilson quipped out however, while the headline indicates that the 901 COVID deaths mark the state's largest single-day increase in CDC data, the reality is that those 901 deaths did not occur in a single day. Florida on Thursday reported 21,765 more COVID-19 cases and 901 deaths to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, according to Miami Herald calculations of CDC data the report began. All but two of the newly reported deaths occurred after July 25th, with about 78% of those people dying in the past two weeks, according to Herald calculations of data published by the CDC. The majority of deaths happened during Florida's latest surge in COVID-19 cases, fueled by the Delta variant. Devon Seated, the Miami Herald reporter who wrote the story, responded to critics who slammed the headline, Reading the story in our transparency note would explain so much CETA tweeted. CDC reports 901 more deaths to FL death total equals single day increased death data is now by when people died not when FL reports it. All explained in story. DeSantis press secretary Christina Pushaw slammed the Miami Herald's framing of the latest CDC data. Pushaw was referring to New York's updated COVID death count earlier this week following the resignation of Democratic Governor Andrew Cuomo. This is yet another example of why most Americans do not trust the mainstream media, and many Floridians feel that Miami Herald crosses the line from a newspaper to a Democratic PR firm in most of their reporting on Governor DeSantis Pushaw added. Pushaw has been on a warpath in recent weeks against outlets like the Orlando Sentinel and the Associated Press over their misleading coverage of DeSantis' support for the Regenera and COVID antibody treatment. Earlier this year, DeSantis blasted. Corporate media operatives at CBS News 60 Minutes over its widely criticized report on Florida's coronavirus vaccine rollout and called on the show to admit that it was false. DeSantis said CBS News producers talked to people who knew the story was wrong but refused to put them on the air. The report suggested DeSantis gave the public's grocery store chain preferable treatment to offer the coronavirus vaccine based on its back's donations to his back but a bipartisan chorus in Florida rejected that framing. Several news outlets, including the Miami Herald and CNN, have also elevated Rebecca Jones, the fired Florida health official who alleged that the DeSantis administration urged her to alter the state's COVID data to push for reopenings last year. Critics have thoroughly refuted her claims, describing them as a fake conspiracy. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.